Mali, a coastal country in West Africa, has seen two coups in a year since August 2020. In 2013, France launched a military intervention in the former French colony called Operation Barkhine. Since then, in addition to military coups, France has been embroiled in nationalist separatist movements and extremist conflicts. France has not been able to stop the spread of the conflict in Burkina Faso and Mali itself, not in Mali. There are currently 13,000 untroops in the vast desert region of Mali. However, the main leadership of the war here is still in the hands of France. France has deployed more than 5,000 troops in the Sahel region to lead the conflict. Although the French tried to continue the war by leading the armies of the Sahel countries, no one could say where the war would end. Members of the military government under Colonel Assimi Goita have been disobeying French leadership since the coup in Mali. Although France has tried to exert a lot of pressure on the Malian government, its visible effects have been minimal. In such a situation, France's position in Mali has been questioned anew as part of the great power competition. Russia is emerging as a new power here. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, speaking on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to speak to the media, said the Malian government had sought security assistance from a Russian private military company. However, he denied that the Russian government was directly involved, unable to control Mali's government. French President Emmanuel Macron recently announced that France would halve its troop numbers in the Sahel. In a speech to the UN General Assembly following Macron's remarks, Mali's Prime Minister Shogel Maiga said France was abandoning Mali. In response, French Defense Minister Florence Parly said the Mali government was wiping its feet with the blood of French troops. Macron has questioned the democratic legitimacy of the Mali government after two coups a year. However, in the Sahel countries, France has long supported military coups as well as corrupt and anti-human rights activities. According to a BBC report, Mali's public opinion has undoubtedly turned against France. The conflict in Mali has spread to neighboring countries. Due to the growing deterioration of the security situation, Malians are regularly protesting against France's military position and seeking an end to France's occupation. Many in Mali want Russian mercenaries to provide security for the country. Although there are various groups opposed to this idea, many feel that France is the root cause of Mali's current situation. Many believe that France has blocked the way for talks with various groups in Mali. The Russian mercenaries did not protest against the Wagner Group, as they did against the French troops in Mali. However, public opinion is not one-sided in this regard. The CMA, a group of Tuaregs in the north, thinks working with the Russians would go against the 2015 peace deal. Russian mercenaries have been providing security to the Central African Republic since 2016. There are also thousands of UN peacekeepers deployed to control 14 rebel groups. An Al Jazeera report says that when France left the country to its own devices, the Russians focused on providing government security with government support. There are about 180 Russian mercenaries training government forces. At the same time, the supply of military equipment is also coming from Russia. EU troops are in France, led by France. While France is saying that France will leave Mali if Russian mercenaries are deployed in Mali, France's friend Germany is sending a similar message. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell said Mali's relations with the EU would deteriorate if the Mali government deployed Russian mercenaries in the country. On the other hand, the Russians are increasing their influence in Mali.
Russia has delivered four helicopters, weapons and ammunition to Mali by Russian transport plane. Mali's defense minister, Sadio Kamara, says the helicopter was delivered to Russia last December. However, he said that weapons and ammunition were gifts from Russia. Geopolitical competition has begun between France and Russia over who will have the most influence in Mali. In October 2019, Russian President Vladimir Putin invited 43 African heads of government to the Russia-Africa summit in Sochi, Russia, France 24 reports. However, the supply of Russian military equipment to Mali However, the supply of Russian military equipment to Mali began after the French intervention in 2013. Russia delivered two helicopters to Mali in 2016 after delivering the first 3,000 Kalashnikov rifles. In 2019, a defense agreement was signed between the two countries. Nyagala Bagayiko, a West African political analyst, says that when the French want to leave Mali to protest the deployment of Russian mercenaries, it is clear to France that it is more important to control its territory than to fight terrorism. The Mali government has very cleverly used public opinion to pit France against Russia, which can help them stay in power. But Anastasia Saposhkina, a professor at the University of Sciences Po in Paris, says there are questions about Russia's interest in French-speaking Africa. Russia may want to send a message to France that it does not like European interference in its internal affairs. And for this purpose, the Russians are using some mercenaries with whom it is difficult to show a direct relationship with the Kremlin.